scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Tonight, truly, I believe from the depth of my heart that God is going to be opening doors. I believe it. And our lives will show that the doors are open. In the name of Jesus. Please be seated. Look. Thank you. Luke 11. We'll start from there tonight. Jesus is teaching on prayer. And when we get to verse 5, Luke chapter 11, verse 5, please. Please look up everyone. He now gives them a story, a parable to illustrate the power of of prayer and the danger of closed doors are we together the bible says and he said unto them which of you shall have a friend and shall go unto him at midnight and say to him friend lend me three loaves verse six for a friend of mine is in his journey is come to me and i have nothing to set before him seven please read it if you want to cast this testimony out of your life one to read and he from within answer and say trouble me not the door is now shut and my children are with me in bed i cannot rise and give thee everything you need is within but the door is shut your blessings your increase the bread that will take away shame and reproach he says trouble me not it's not that it's it's not possible for you to get it but the door is shut i cannot arise and give thee because the door is shut hallelujah verse 8 Verse 8, please help us, media. I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him because he is his friend, yet because of his persistence, he will rise and give him as many as he needed. The Bible clearly tells us that proximity to a blessing does not equal possession. You can be so close to a person. You can be so close to an opportunity that can lift you. But that there is a door that can stop men from reaching men. He says, trouble me not. The door is already closed. I have shut the door. Hallelujah. The second scripture. And then... We take the time to pray. Acts chapter 16. Acts chapter 16. We'll start from verse 25. Acts 16. And at midnight, Paul and Silas were bound in prison 
with chains on their hands their feet the bible says at midnight paul and silas prayed and sang praises unto god and the prisoners heard them 26 suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken it says and immediately someone prophesy all the doors were open how many the doors of lifting the doors of breakthrough the doors of speed that there was something paul and silas did in the prison that made all doors to open this is why we're here tonight to insist that every door because you see some doors can open and yet other doors will refuse to open but the bible says all doors were open and everyone's band was loosed we are here to insist that every door that hinders us i have taught you again and again that doors are barriers that interface dimensions doors are the barriers that bridge your yesterday and your tomorrow and that if these doors are not open you can remain in a position and stagnate for years i did tell us that time does not change anything time only reveals hallelujah and so we are here to insist that the doors be open scripture said lift up your heads O ye gates then it says be ye lifted everlasting or ancient doors that means the doors are not young a door can be there before you were born and still remain even in adulthood and insist and refuse to open and you stagnate at a realm at a dimension you remain there for a very very long time hallelujah we came tonight to really pray and then to praise because these were the things that paul and silas did the bible says that they prayed and when they prayed they sang they did not murmur the songs it was so loud the other people in the prison heard them you know the things of the spirit you always look stupid till the results come are we together now yes when noah began to tell them that rain was coming they laughed at him they mocked at him for 120 years he was building an ark of gopher wood and then the bible says when all the animals came in god himself shut the door so not every closed door is demonic there are doors that god closed because some people should not come into your life again there are doors that god shut the red sea was a door god opened it for the nation of israel to cross and he shut that door and said these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever when it has to do with the blessings of god the bible says that your gates shall be continually open day and night they shall not be shut so that you will receive the forces of the gentiles but there are times that there are certain doors that have been opened that's why the devil continues to come and buffet lives and families and it is also important that tonight god shuts those doors so he's not only opening doors tonight he's also closing others are we blessed yes but for many of us what we need is open doors that grant us the access to new realms in ministry open doors in business open doors did you know you can be in a land of opportunity a land of plenty and yet the doors are closed the doors are shut towards you did you know your spirit man has doors your mind has doors minister Dunsin sang and gave the body of christ a song to say channels of my spirit open up channels of my understanding open up you can anoint a man and yet the door of his heart is closed hallelujah there are evidences listen carefully there are evidences that prove that a door is open you need to understand this hallelujah I will only give you two of them tonight because we have a lot of prayer to do 
open doors are not an assumption you don't sit down and just assume that your doors are open the first sign of an open door is movement motion motion when doors are open there is no stillness there is movement in and out in and out the bible says the path of the justice says is as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day that means god desires that we continue to transit from one dimension of glory to the other when you are pegged at a level and for many years the only thing that grows in your life is your age is proof that there is a door that is closed before you hallelujah movement motion that the next time we see you you are a superior version of yourself we look at you and we can see the faithfulness of God in your life, financially, spiritually. You cannot be at the same level of hunger today that you were two years ago. It's a sign that there is a spiritual door that is truly shut before you. I should look at you after two years, six months, four months, and see a deeper dimension of hunger, a deeper level of passion over the things of God. You cannot be at the level you were two years ago. No, man of God, you cannot be at the same level I met you two years ago in the anointing. No, sir. You pray for 10 people, only two get healed. You pray two years later for 10 people, only two get healed. It's not a testimony again. Are we together? Yes. Doors that allow for access. I should also see the movement of things into your life things that were not there yesterday I should see new opportunities I should see new people new relationships new dimensions of information and knowledge listen let me tell you this did you know in my opinion the greatest doors that need to open are not physical doors. They are not even financial doors. They are doors of the spirit and the doors of your mind. When your mind is closed, your destiny is really closed. The Bible says, then open he their understanding. Understanding is like a door. It can be closed. Open he their understanding that they might understand scripture. So God opens up your mind to understand the realities of the spirit. And then you begin to introduce new dimensions of spiritual reality. And you find out that with those information, you are transiting from one level to the other. Doors can open over people. Doors can open over cities. Doors can open over families. And the first proof of an open door is motion movement someone prophesied to yourself i refuse to remain in one position i refuse i reject it lift your voice prophesy while you are seated i refuse it not in ministry not in business i cannot be at the same level financially i cannot be at the same level relationally i cannot be at the same level spiritually in this season of open doors i command movement movement from one level to the other from one level to the other the bible says and we all with faces unveiled as in a mirror it says that we when we behold him we are changed there has to be movement in your life hallelujah praise the lord movement is powerful in elementary science we are taught that one of the characteristics of living things is movement that you can verify that a person or a thing is alive by its movement is that true yes so when movement stops in your life when motion stops in your life is proof of death even if you are alive the same house for 30 years except if it's yours the same situation financially the same level in ministry the same level of spiritual understanding is proof of a closed door is proof of stagnation there must be movement and someone seated here by the spirit the holy ghost will pick your hands and walk you through open doors and take you to realms and dimensions where it will be proof
prove to the nations that God has moved you forward yeah. hallelujah he told the nation of Israel he said ye have come past this mountain long enough turn ye not words it's important I detest stagnation it is dangerous it can waste your time listen carefully it can waste your destiny i hope you know that the unit of destiny is time whatever impedes your time and your progress in life is destroying your destiny i truly believe with all my heart that believers should not be at the same position that our lives must record intentional results I believe in motion I believe in progress and it is important for you to be sensitive enough to observe your life and ensure that you are making progress do you know sometimes you can be so used to stagnation you do not even remember again that you should move forward you can be so used to a level you can be so used to a dimension spiritually financially you can be so used to pain you can be so used to losses you can be so used to retro Aggression that is no longer captured in your space that you should move forward let it not become foreign for you that God advances men he says that I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it we should make progress in our lives the ultimate desire of the father is that he be glorified through the church that is true but whilst we focus on doing that remember that God is a benevolent God and so he intends and desires that while we serve the purposes of the kingdom our lives also make progress listen to me do not receive that advocacy of a God who looks like he wants to stunt you and limit you and all his concern about is using you to promote his interest that's not the God we serve his fatherhood is is um, his benevolence is very stretches so far to see to it that whilst you serve his purposes in experience it is reflected in your life that you are also partakers of his glory the Bible says he has raised us up with him he didn't go alone and leave us alone so it is true that whilst we serve the purposes of God if need be we make the requisite levels of sacrifice to see him glorified however please learn and know today that God desires that while I serve him I do well while I serve him I make progress did the Bible not say herein is our father glorified when ye bear much fruit John chapter 15 and verse 8 hearing this is how the father is glorified this is how the father takes glory not just that you are preaching and you are going down you are broke you are suffering you are it's as if god jesus did not die for you as if he just sent you without any package for you know he said when i sent thee lackest thou anything because a worker the bible says is deserving of his wages are we together I made up my mind years ago that I will never lead a people who are just spiritually sound alone that every dimension of kingdom reality that can glorify the saints must be captured in their lives spiritually they must rise in influence they must rise financially they must rise in their understanding Abraham the Bible says was old and well stricken in age he says and the Lord had blessed him in all things not some things not some things the lord had blessed him in all things so someone say movement as proof that a door is opened when when a door is open there's no more barrier i can open this door and walk out freely you know the bible talks about the gate of jericho and the doors that they were shut no one went in and no one went out when the doors of inspiration are shut towards you there is no creativity there is no growth hear me business people it is not just human connection that opens you up to growth no the door of inspiration must be open he says there is a spirit in man and the 
breath of the Almighty can make men of understanding. Jesus continued to teach his disciples on the things of the kingdom. They kept looking at him, listening, intending to learn, but the doors of their understanding were shut to perform a miracle upon them the bible says then open he their understanding open he their understanding a man's understanding can be closed and no matter you can stand in front of an opportunity and never know it's an opportunity because the door of your understanding is shut there are many music ministers that never write songs they do their best to compose songs it does not work because the door of spiritual inspiration is shut are we blessed do you know please look up this bible you see just because you open the bible does not mean it is opened i hope you know this does not mean this bible is open it just means the book is open are we together now so i can be looking at this i'm reading psalms this psalms that but in the realm of the spirit is still closed because this book is a door a door itself a door into the treasures of the spirit watch this this book is like a a map it can create coordinates and like a compass it can guide a man into an enviable destiny are we together now so just because the bible is opened does not mean it really is opened you can be reading and all you are reading is history you can be reading and all you are reading is a storybook you can be reading and all you are reading is a compendium of controversies disjointed communications that don't seem to add up and your verdict at the end of it is that there are gaps in this bible and it does not profit however when the holy ghost opens this word to you you will be amazed to find out the riches and the treasures that are locked in within hallelujah praise the lord i remember when the lord jesus appeared to me after the miracle that he performed on me i was surprised when i opened the bible it was as if i had never read it again I said, no you are not just an ordinary man what i see is beyond the physical body i'm about to be taken as quickly say double portion is ah you've asked a difficult thing however if your eyes can be that open for you to see then you can receive and when he looked at him he said my father my father the chariots of israel and the horsemen thereof do you know what it means you single-handedly are the warrior over israel you are equivalent to a chariot that literally protects the heritage of god over that land i see that you are not just a man you hold a key that preserves god within a system and he said you have it he received that mantle immediately blessed are your eyes for they see there are pastors today who have lost valuable members valuable partners because they could not see listen listen to what i'm telling you when the door of your your eyes are closed you will see good things and not know they are good things until they live your life and you will regret almost forever why did i make this mistake i saw this man of god but i didn't have the eyes to see his tomorrow i didn't have the opportunity to know that a man that i was once close to will tomorrow become a voice how many people today know some of the multi-millionaires and the billionaires in lagos and within this country once upon the time they were at the same level but the eyes to see was not there ah if all you see is in the flesh your eyes are closed the miracle of an open eye is a real miracle so when we're dealing with open doors we're not just dealing with financial doors the grace to discern lord who is rising grant me the eyes to see who is who i who is the next person you are lifting grant me the eyes to see so that i will be part of his lifting i know a man of god in this nation and he said his biggest secret is the ability to see when people are about to rise and participate in their success so that when they rise they become too grateful to forget him 
there are family members just when your brother is about to rise the devil will shut your eyes and you will fight him that track record will be his last remembrance of you that you fought his destiny the moment he rises every time he remembers you he remembers you in pain open my eyes is a real prayer open the door of my eyes what am i not seeing oh god was listen was it not elisha they were surrounded by all kinds of people and the, the his son was was afraid and he said lord open his eyes that he may see the door of sight the door of sight with the eyes of an eagle he will show you tomorrow and show you what let me tell you this years ago before they even started to put teachings online then it was not it was not a popular thing to put messages online and the spirit of god told me this is how the future will look like and he said you just carry your teachings and put online it will cost you but put it online my angel will take it to the nations and i will announce you with those teachings the power of an open eye you are privy to spiritual things listen if you follow what people are doing you are too late when the door of your eyes is open you pioneer things and you you reap the benefit of pioneer status in this lagos your lagos once upon a time they were tying water in leathers is that correct that's how they sold it but people who the door of their eyes were opened they were able to see that the day will come this water we play with will bless people someone saw it and went ahead into the future to begin to package it and only god knows the kind of rewards those people have what is close to you that god is going to use tomorrow that you are not seeing is god speaking to us tonight yes sir the seeing eye the hearing ear that God can open the door of your eyes and while you look at people you can discern I don't know what is in this man but I'm seeing that the next four years there is a grace that is coming on him please come let me be part of your lifting so that while you rise you will imprint in your mind that there is the memory of one who helped you listen don't come into people's future and expect I have an entitlement mentality when you did not contribute in their rising we live in a very very funny world if you do not have the eyes to see men when they are in the cave of adulam do not expect to be invited when they are on the throne it takes the seeing eye i share with you a big secret tonight there are many people who continue to get angry at the rising of others because they think i used to know him we were neighbors now you are a ceo why won't you remember me but did you see it did you see a neighbor or you saw a prince on his way to the throne is god speaking to us yes, sir. many years ago when i was in the seminary a great great man of god he was a reverend stayed for many years in the u.s he was like a father to me that man looked at me and said you are going very far wasn't really tongue talking you know very charismatic respect people who can see let me speak to you yoruba nation you have a heritage of sight don't kill it god gave you the grace there are fathers in this land they may not be educated but they can sit down and sketch your future and say i have seen it so when you fail within this territory is because your eyes were truly closed are we together
I've studied the history of the church in the West. I've studied a bit on the heritage of the fathers. My God, those men, they were not eloquent. Some of them were not educated, but their eyes were opened. They could see, they would sketch the future with digital precision and tell you this is how it will be. Are we blessed? We're talking about open doors here. So this man becomes great and he can remember that I contributed to his rising. When the devil wants to destroy you, he will reduce you to only see men in the flesh. Oh, this is my younger brother. This is my elder sister. How many women have lost great, great potential husbands because they could not see? As at the time the brother came, you saw a trouser of 500 naira, a shirt of 300 naira. That's all you could see. Because I'm not being sarcastic. And yet someone else looked and said, this man may not be able to buy Gary today, but based on what I see, this is a prince. Forget about what you see in the prison. And someone took the risk enough to say, let's go. Even though we cannot sow Gary today, I know what I have seen. Let's go. And when the man becomes, when you see the son of man in power and glory, he will now vow every time he looks at her, he celebrates the risk of sight that this woman was able to see enough and say no matter what you want even if it's to change a car for you every year I will do it there are people who saw certain men of God these people so much because the eyes the door of their eyes were open to see hallelujah I remember a humorous story um, recently someone reached me and said I've been trying to reach you um, you mean you don't know me honestly I couldn't even remember the person he said I've been trying to reach you what is the meaning of this you know I've been trying to reach you this is how you people make things difficult are you trying to say you don't know me and I said oh dear these are the kinds of people that this message is for you see the ability to see My mother is one woman that God granted this grace to see. Right from when I was young, this woman, ah, respect elders, oh. Find a way of respecting elders, not just because the Bible says so, but because in doing so, you will be able to leverage on their power of sight. They can sit down and see far and show you a road that when you follow, it may not be pleasant, but it will lead you to destiny. Hallelujah. The door of sight. The door of hearing. The Bible says, And it was noised abroad that Jesus was in town. Some people heard it. Others did not hear it. Because the door of their ears were shut. And they could not come to receive. The question I always ask is, You know, the blind man at Jericho. I hope you know he had. The Bible says he was blind. The door of his eyes was closed, but the ears were open. And he heard Jesus was passing. He said, ah, ah. Thou son of David, he took action because he could hear. There are many times people do not take action because they are not hearing. Is God challenging someone tonight? That when it's time to pray more than just praying for money more than just praying for increase you must the real miracle believe me is not business exploits the real miracle is not more contracts the real miracle is open down my eyes that i may behold wondrous things when the door of your eyes are open and the door of your ears are open you can stand beside a madman and know that he will be a prophet tomorrow and while everybody is running away you stand and have a track record there are people today their relationship is their stream of income you ask them what is your stream of income they say relationship and you dare not laugh at it because it is true they have invested in too many people to be poor to struggle 
there are testimonies in the heart of every lifted person no great man ever forgets them because by the power of insight open eyes they identified great graces and lavishly invested in those graces hallelujah yes sir what seest thou he says the rod of an almond tree he said you have seen correctly this is proof that your eyes have opened the eyes of many people are closed believe me when i tell you this just because you are looking it doesn't mean you are seeing you can be looking and yet not see a destiny helper comes to pass you you do not see an anointing comes and passes you you do not see every good thing comes to pass you you do not see you call evil good you call good evil is proof that that door must be open tonight when i pray i pray for my eyes so lord grant me the grace to see and the thing about sight is you can look at a person born again filled with the spirit anointed blessed but you know this person should not be my destiny nothing is wrong but because your eyes are open he does not have to be a sinner he does not have to be a dangerous person for some reason because your eyes are open you know that no this relationship will not be productive for me you do not have a reason for it yet that is the action you take and five years will prove that your eyes were open listen believe do you know what it means to be carnally minded it does not just mean to be fleshly minded it means to be governed by your senses that you do not have another faculty of perception and interpreting reality more than your optical eyes more than your impulses you must open the door of your eyes so that you can see so that you can discern hallelujah there are people i've seen listen i can look at someone truthfully speaking wonderful obedient and i look at you and say this man is a rebel keep watching oh no 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 oh i'm a man of god i love you with stories keep watching preachers you must pray for this grace this night otherwise you will have episodes of pain you will invest in people again and again and again and again and at the end of it you will find out you really do not have an army because your eyes were closed you waste your energy on wrong people are we together yes very powerful Esther, I mean um, Ruth and Naomi. You know that they were Naomi and her sister had the same situation, and she went away because she could not see. And Naomi, Ruth held on to Naomi, said, I'm not going. I know what I've seen. I'm not. They said, Go. He said, No way. Your people will be my people, your God will be my God. And it was Naomi that advised her and she met boaz that's not the miracle she became part of the lineage of the christ please listen as i'm talking to you now the holy ghost is going to be showing you opportunities that pass you because the doors of your eyes were closed relationships you should not have kept but you kept them because you could not see and today they are the sources of pain and other you can see someone who is stubborn rebellious very very rude and god will say still keep this person and you are saying god i want to drive this person out of my church out of my life this this level of stubbornness i am tired and god says don't worry out of all that hundred days of stubbornness he will give you one information one day that becomes a ladder to your next level have you seen people like that they they are, they are you are embarrassed standing near them because staying close to them will make people doubt your christianity and yet god will say stay there there is still something in them 
you will have a foolish house help that does not seem to be wise are we together fry egg the person will cook yam do this every day do all kinds of wrong things and you are angry about to dismiss them and God will say do you not see I brought you in this house because this girl may not be educated but her grandfather covenanted with God that let my children's children anywhere they go bless those people I brought this girl not for house help I brought her as an act of favor so if all you see if your eyes are closed you will just see a house help who is foolish in her decision but if you discern the grace one day you will call her and say young lady let me buy you a dress and you tap into the covenant of her grandfather's favor and turn your business around was it not a little jewish girl a young maid who told he said oh i look at you naman you are a great man but this aspect of your destiny she could see more than a leprous man but naman could see more than a slave girl too because he a captain a a warrior of an army and he saw a little girl let me show you a mystery that is killing many people in the body of christ their eyes are closed their ears are closed How many good things have you driven in your life because they came in packages that could not be seen? Hallelujah. You are a CEO and the person who always cleans your office, he came from a lineage of terrible prophets and although he's a cleaner, he can see. He knew when they dropped a charm in your table, even though he was not there. And he's been trying to say, sir, I know that I'm a cleaner. I'm not worthy to talk to you. But if you can give me two minutes, my grandfather was a prophet. I started seeing him before I got born again. He will tell you. And yet, because you cannot discern, he said, look, I have a business meeting. Sir, I, I had a dream. I saw white men coming to your office. I saw someone putting poison in your cup. He said, no, 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 young boy, go away. He was sent to be a deliverer, only disguised as a cleaner. But because your eyes were closed, people will come in from a place and kill you and you die the death of a fool because you could not see someone hold your put your hand on your eyes and cry god open the door of my eyes what am i missing why am i stagnated in one position open the door of my eyes oh god pray it doesn't take long for God to lift men but the door of your eyes must be open I pray for you that the eyes of your understanding be flooded with light that you may know hallelujah praise the lord now look at me you've heard my story years ago years ago pastor i loved god with all my heart i was already in ministry but things didn't just line up especially in the area of finances i went to buy something i think it was sugar cane and then i saw two women when I looked at these women, see, let me tell you, God stores his anointing and his covenants in men. Many times the carriers do not even know the heritage of what they are carrying. Hear what I'm saying. 
if you are waiting for men to be conscious of what they carry before they give you you will never receive anything the same way we have mineral resources discovered or not they are still there there are spiritual resources distributed in men through tribes and families and the covenants that their forefathers entered with jehovah when david was going to fight saul there was only one i mean was going to fight goliath there was only one question saul asked him not who trained you he said whose son are you i want to know the spiritual heritage you are coming from so that i will know whether you have the covenants that kills goliath because this goliath does not fall just by training of armory there is a spiritual tribe that has a spiritual investment that can kill goliath so david these are mighty men men of war but they are not from that tribe whose son are you where are you coming from he said go and fight i know what your people carry do you know that there are men that are connected to dangerous spiritual covenants yes sir there are people who have a covenant with god and mama entered a covenant with god and said god i did not go to school but let my children not beg that was her covenant and you will watch somebody who is not born again not serious with god lawless and yet you will get a job he will be insulting god to his face and another job will come again and the person does not even know why things are working for him at least what i'm sharing with you tonight are deep mysteries of dominion hallelujah so watch this that you are able to discern what people carry there are times God introduces people into your life it is not the physical thing they can do he's introducing the covenant they represent physically they are not useful let me tell you the truth they are not useful in any way to you however God says to keep them there because of what is in them. If you want to be famous, if God wants to lift you and announce you to the world from Nigeria, your feet must touch Lagos. There are two cities your feet must touch, Abel Kuta and Lagos. If your feet does not touch it prophetically, your voice will not be heard from this nation because there is a covenant. In the realm of the spirit, Abel Kuta gave birth to Lagos. Pray in the spirit for one minute. yes sir tonight is a feast of light god is opening doors showing you the mysteries that the eyes of men, men cannot see hallelujah sit down listen when god wants to train you spiritually and god wants to build you to be a mighty army your feet must touch the knot no matter where you are in this nation he will orchestrate an excuse and make your feet to touch the north a mystery the north prophetically is a spiritual training ground in mount zion the side of the north the city of the great king but when god wants to lift you even if you are in zamfara or meduguri 
he will find an excuse even if it means for your boss to break down in Abelkuta or your boss to break down in Lagos you come out and you are walking and complaining why is this boss not walking and heaven says thank you now that your feet has touched there you can receive of ah. tonight I teach you how to read the writings on the wall it takes an open eye for you to see what you call disappointment and you may not know that it is prophecy watch this so you are an ordinary house help and God makes sure you come to Lagos to serve a woman for just two weeks and after two weeks she will drive you and say I don't know why I don't like you go away and God says go you, you, uh, you don't know the purpose of your being there because your eyes are closed if you see what transpired in the realm of the spirit there is almost no calm ground in the west that my feet has not touched it's prophetic are we are we together <laughs> ah people of God we must pray that this door of our eyes are open so that we interpret the happenings in life do you not know watch this there is a secret in the spirit and that secret is that you see this John the Baptist you see John was a dangerous man John was not just a Baptist though John was the continuity of a spiritual program John was Elijah watch this so when Jesus showed up, when he looked at John, John said, I can't baptize. He said, look, it's not your body I'm looking for. I'm tapping into a covenant. Because according to God's program, the Lord does not show up until Elijah goes before him. It's a spiritual protocol. That before the great and terrible day of the Lord, Elijah shall come. Now Jesus could not be manifested. So he looked for Elijah. He found Elijah. Listen. When you go to people who do divination, when you go to people who do divination, they will tell you certain things. Now, some of what they say, of course, is not scriptural. But notice, sometimes they will tell you, go and feed certain kinds of people. They are not just saying, go and give them food for nothing. They are saying they may be seated as beggars, but they themselves don't know what is inside them. They come from a tribe that can lift, communicate honor. Because when when they conjure powers they don't see things in the flesh again so they can tell you buy a plate of rice for a madman and he said no 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 this madman is not the madman even though he's a madman in gadara there's an evangelist hiding in him that can win 10 cities now divination will show you the evangelist not the madman so people tap into those demonic things you see they still prosper because they manipulate spiritual laws of course it will destroy them eventually because it's not routed through the office of the christ but i'm just telling you that it's a spiritual protocol hey believers wake up moving with life scientifically enough will cost you eventually the days that we come in require that the door of your eyes be open i'm buying sugar cane and I see two women stand in front of me weak looking old looking women and they're about to lose their this thing they tie to put money inside and I look at them and I'm compelled by my spirit to honor them I'm not sure it was more than 100 naira sir I just paid for them and they were blessing me blessing me blessing me God bless you. God lift you. And for some reason, I didn't even pay attention to what they were saying. And then one of the mama looked at me and said, My son, forever walk upon gold. It's a realm of your glory. It's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels With God's glory on the wings And like the voice of many waters I can hear the angels sing You are holy You 
wanted to lift him he could not just rise like that then one day he met a strange man called Melchizedek the king of Salem whoever told you that men are just bodies men are mysteries covered with skin if God does not open your eyes you can be married to your husband for 10 years married to your wife for 30 years and not know what was hidden there Jacob was a prophet that never prophesied until he was about to die. You can have four children and say, well, that's enough. And yet in the realm of the spirit, every time you sleep, you see five children. You say, God forbid, I rebuke that spirit. I'm done giving birth. I'm not ready to shout around any hospital again. And yet the Holy Ghost is telling you the fifth child is the deliverer it's not whether you want children or not when the door of your eyes are you can suffer for the rest of your life in the realm of the spirit the child is saying why did you not allow me there is prophecy that must be fulfilled notice children that become great their parents will tell you we had stopped we never planned giving birth to you and sometimes god will find a way ah this god Are you getting blessed? Great man. That's why I feel sorry for young men who do not have honor. You see, some of these are fathers and all the great ministries around. They may not be as enlightened in terms of spiritual knowledge. They may not be educated and articulate as we are. But we will be joking if you dishonor their altars and dishonor the covenant they had with God. Some of these, your fathers could not speak English. Was it not from Ekiti State I was coming? I was coming back and I saw a little city there. This city had mysterious grace for long life. 132 years. I saw 141. He just died. I told the driver, park. Because if you have the eyes to see, park! And we could not find anybody who was speaking English there, but they were Christians. I said, please look for someone. They found somebody with limited English. And we said, all right, please look for the oldest man here. Tell him we are men of God that I'm here to receive the grace for long life. You, you cannot live 132 years by mistake in this wicked world. No, sir. Where did your enemies go to that you lived 132 years? Whatever grace made you surmount them, I want it. Do you know why? Because I travel all the time and I know that the anointing on my life is a controversial anointing. So look for long life fast before you die like a chicken. I hope you understand what the Spirit of God is speaking to us. Listen, when you know the blueprint of your destiny, fish the graces that secure you quickly. When you know your destiny will require you passing through fire, when you know your destiny will require you passing through water, find who makes a boat. Find who has a fire extinguisher. Add them before the journey starts. So when I stopped there, they got somebody. I saw some women standing and I greeted them. They interpreted for them. And then eventually we went and there was one Baba. He was not even looking too old. Nobody holding a stick. Nobody looking like they were dying. What kind of grace is this? In your Nigeria. Yet we say the oldest person in the world is 114 years. Uh -uh. Come to Nigeria, the home of mysteries. Are we together? And so they told the Baba, they interpreted, I've come to receive the grace for long life. And he smiled. 
he beckoned in Yoruba, kneel down. Those who carry this thing know they have it all. Yes, sir. So you can be praying, oh God, bless me. God will say, I've blessed you. But do you have the eyes to see where it will come from? Are we together? When I knelt down and that Baba was praying in Yoruba. I don't understand Yoruba. I honestly didn't care what he was saying. As he was praying, I felt like a crown physically come upon my head. When I was done, watch this. I got up and I saw the seed, appreciated him, truly honored him. I was going to go and enter the car again. Then I went to tell the women, thank you, the women that were gathered. And I now celebrated them and they told me the one 32 year old man, he was a senior apostle, he just died, that that's his wife. I said, ah, I'm sure she'll be like 120 something and yet she was standing. I said, please, let's go. Although he has died, you are still, he's still alive in you. Two have become one. Is that not what the Bible says? I said, let's go back. You must pray for me. She tapped me. She said, come. We entered a room and she started showing me pictures. That was the wife of his youth. The wife of his youth. When she was done, it was time. I said, now she should pray for us. She removed her shoes, put her legs on the ground and said, kneel down. When a woman takes off her shoes and puts her feet to make contact, I hope you know the earth is a point of contact. The earth is a universal point of contact. There are five elements that the supernatural expresses itself in them. One is earth. Everybody's leg stands on the earth. So the earth is a point of contact. Your destiny helper, his leg is touching the earth now. So he, you can use it as a point of contact and call them forth this woman stood on the ground and for 15 minutes or so she first started with a song in yoruba i honestly didn't know what she was singing all i know is that she was prophesying over my life ask my people whether the plane goes like this i continue to sleep do you know why because i've chosen life <laughs> what I'm sharing with you the first time I met your pastor when I looked at pastor Emos Fenwa I saw that this man is a great prophet of God but let me tell you one grace I saw with your father he has a king maker anointing truly there is a grace on him that makes kings I saw that maker grace and I said, no, this man carries that grace. You can be in this church for many years. My pastor, how are you, sir? I hope you are okay. And never receive anything. A stranger will stroll from Lagos and meander like someone who is missing. And just come and say, daddy, sir, I know you are a man of God, but you are a prophet of God. If you are in this church and God wants to lift you, there is a grace on your father for not just revelation but confirmation there is a real grace that confirms what god is about to do in people's lives the question is can you see it hallelujah you look at a woman with 15 children one womb same woman 15 children firstborn governor second son vice chancellor third daughter consultant yet she didn't go to school you really think she can train those children like that no there is a grace you can be struggling with two children and package a seed and say mama you don't know my name and i don't know where you are coming from but to raise 15 children and none of them is an arm robber none of them is a prostitute whatever grace release it on me Mama may just laugh and say, my dear son or my dear daughter. Towards the end of last year, one of the women that was part of founding a great ministry 
in this nation abroad in a number of nations the Lord gave her an instruction to fly down to come and see me old woman successful children I just hear that this woman is around to see me towards the end of the year mommy God bless you she said my son God sent me to come because it's a season of strange lifting for you and God said I should just come just fellowship with you and that when you come to my nation I should be responsible for your stay for everything but I was wise enough to know that it's not just about staying in her house there is a grace on her that must be introduced into my life when I say I'm a product of many anointings it doesn't mean I'm a product of impartation for many men of God I am a product of impartation for many altars if you wait for men of God alone to bless you you will not go very far because the real people that bless men of God are not men of God the real people that bless men of God are in the secret go and read your Bible they are king makers a king maker never becomes a king but he makes kings study the history of your churches in the West the people who lifted the people you celebrate were not lifted themselves so if all you are waiting for is a man's result you may not rise because there are people somebody can see that not even have a church he just sits in his house prays supports missionaries whereas that is the grace you tap into to have an international ministry be careful if all you look at is physical results because God hides great things that's why your heart cannot be seen imagine if a woman's hand is on her head a woman's womb is on her head do you know what your enemies will do with the baby so God hid it inside I can slap your head and God designed it to be strong enough to endure every kind of wickedness that will happen to it. But the fragility of your womb, your heart, those organs, God hid it. So when God hides people, we live in a generation where we are obsessed to be seen. Let me tell you a secret. The more powerful you are in the spirit, the more God hides you. It's a principle. Prophets in ancient times hardly traveled, even in the West here. They were seers. They will remain in a room like Habalis for a long time. But as soon as you open the door, they will call your name and say, sit down. Let me tell you your destiny. And you are wondering, who is this? They say, young man, you are going to be great. But be careful on the ninth year of your life. If you are not careful, this will happen. What I'm seeing, you should fail. But give me room. Let me go and tell God to change it. That's how they will talk. By the next day, they will come. They will say, I discuss with God. You are free. You would think it's a joke. Look, those people knew God. Oh. They knew God. Some of them were roaming around the forest when power fell on their head. They were not in a... a, a... If our generation does not balance our new revelation with honor, we will lose all the covenants that make sustainability that's why we young people have a lot of balloon success we come out today and make noise today and two years we are down because we are not supported by anything ancient i was talking with minister Dusin when he was telling me about his father and the revival and the move he, he happens to be at the same place with with god's servant the same region I've studied some of those people. I've studied some of those prophets. My God! I'm telling you, history does not do justice to the level of power and insight and the knowledge of God there. They were men. They had their limitations. But these men knew God. They could go and discuss with God as though in a board meeting and come out and look at you and say, this should happen to you. But I just discussed with God and he agreed to let you go. can look at you and tell you if you don't behave well if your feet touches this city they will carry your dead body you will think it's a joke you just come I just flew in from Europe flew in from wherever your feet will touch there and God will honor even if they are wrong he will honor them and then you correct them later on that's the kind of covenant they had with God 
I wish what I were saying were a lie, but it is true. Lagos, hear me. When God says it's a season of open doors, the real door is not just business. The real door is not just properties. The real door is not just investment. The real door is your eyes. The real door is your ears. Because when your eyes is opened, this is why the prophetic ministry is powerful and this is why it's the most abused because it's a ministry that thrives on open eyes and open ears. Do you know, I can stand right now, sir, please come. I can look at this man and in the spirit, I can see that this man is a multi-millionaire. Now, I've taken advantage of open eyes, but because I do not have character and I'm not serious with God, I will prophesy to him, call his name, are you together and now manipulate money out of him that one is not god that one is flesh but i took advantage of the open eyes so i can look in this congregation and fish out the wealthiest people fish out the greatest politicians and prophesy because it is at now is now is at my disposal now by the privilege of open eyes i can deceive and manipulate and because i have details that are true you will believe me Are we blessed the miracle of open eyes who is God lifting in January who is God lifting in March you must have the eyes to see it so that you can come and plant your impact in the heart of that man it is easy to rise when your eyes are open you will know where to channel your energy productively so you don't waste your time investing in people who are not rising Are we together? The first day I saw your daughter, sir, Efe Nathan. I remember the first day she ministered, I looked at her, I said, Ah, this lady is not just a worshiper, she's a prophetic worshiper. She truly has a grace that sets the atmosphere. It's true. first day I met with Minister Dunsin, I told him, and we continue to talk about it all the time. I said, this man, what God will do with this man in the nations, and I'm saying it even again and to the open, the grace, it is his personal competence and sacrifice, but he's an extension of an ancient altar. Believe what I'm telling you, this man you see is not just a song, he's continuing something ancient the national anthem of nigeria says the labor of our heroes past it's not just heroes that fought physical war there are spiritual heroes past and some of us you see are extensions of what is happening hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.